He's back here with his uh, 2001 Monte Carlo SS, the build project. Yeah, on my way home from work last night, uh, this is what I've been hearing all, all throughout the drive home. Nah, my problem is this. I don't think it's the engine that's knocking. I don't think it's any push rod or, you know, cylinder head or nothing like that. But at the same time, I can't really be sure. One thing I do notice is when I turn the AC on, uh, it kind of like magically stops and goes away. Um, the past couple of days, it's been hurricane nonstop and everything at the bottom of the car been getting wet. I mean, really wet. Like, you know, Tropical Storm, Isaac, Hurricane Isaac, whatever you want to call it. He came down here and did a little damage, a little water damage. You know, Florida is below sea level, so whenever it rains a lot, we don't got enough place uh, to put, put that extra water. But this is the 3800 right here, Series 2, and it's, it's knocking like hell right now. And before I take this engine out of the car, you know, I would really like to know what the hell the problem is. You know, if the engine got a problem right now, I could just take it out and go put another one in, you know. I'd rather do that than try to fix this shit because once you break something internally and it, you don't know what else is damaged and you wouldn't know where to start with the problem, you know, regardless of what is damaged and what is not. But you can hear it. It's, it's pretty bad. Lately, I've been having no luck this whole year, basically. I do one thing good and two pro two more bads come to me. I do one thing good and another three bad come to me. So, you know, it's just crazy, man. And I've been trying my hardest to keep my, insan my sanity and all that shit, but this fucking car shit getting on my fucking nerves, man. I'm getting tired of working on cars, let alone my own car. You know, this is a hobby of mine. It's something I enjoy. You know, for the time being, you know, if you're a young dude, this is a good profession for you. You know, you start young and build yourself up. You know, 12 years from now, you'll be a master technician or whatever. But for me, I'm ready to get the hell out of this game and, you know, go do something else in my life. And I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is the breaking point right here. But yeah, this shit is knocking and it's 3800. Uh, I replaced every seal and gasket in the in the engine except for the cylinder heads gasket. I never touched them. I never messed with them. They were fine. You know? Torque specification was fine and everything. I, I never messed with them. But yeah, from top to bottom, every other gasket was replaced. I changed the coolant twice. You know, make sure it was flushed out. I, I switched it twice and changed radiator hoses and, you know, to the best of my ability, I, 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 I did what I could in a year. You know, you follow my other videos, you know, everything has been done to this engine as well as the transmission. The transmission also had its own tune-up. So, you know, I changed the filter, the transmission filter, the transmission fluid, um, a few solenoids and, sh and sensors. And, you know, I didn't rebuild it. I just did a little, you know, a little tune-up, a little, you know, cleaning here and here and there and, and whatnot, putting new gaskets on it, side casing, championship pan itself. And you check my video, all you see under there is clean. There's no leaks. I put a new CV, a new CV joints, rack and pinion, um, outer tie rods, new ball joints bushings, low control arm bushings, you know, everything been replacing this shit, 
you know, the only things I don't like about this is that it had the aluminum supported uh, motor mounts, which tend to break on the 3800. This one has been well re welded prior to purchasing the car, it was re welded back. But yeah, I got this knock right here that, you know, it started last night, yesterday when I was leaving work. But I didn't hear it until I cut down the music. So I probably drove like five minutes with it this bad, and I didn't even know. But again, like I said, when I turn on the AC, when I turn on the AC, it's gone. So I don't know what it could be. If it's the bearing in the AC, then that's a different problem. But yeah, you can slowly hear it coming back. But it's this hard to figure out. It could be a push rod. It could be. And, you know, there it comes back now. AC still on, but... Yeah, anybody know what the problem is, just, you know, contact me on Facebook, uh, on, on YouTube. Let me, let me know what it is or what you think it could be. But it's coming out of this side, passenger side, more towards the back of the engine. That's what I hear from. I'm here, here on the right hand side, here, right here. I feel like I'm looking at it. <laughs> 